We certainly don't know how long Alex Edler is going to be out. Uh, hopefully it is not too terribly serious because obviously it would be a crushing blow to this team already missing Kevin Bieksa, leaving them again once again with two uh, of their top four defensemen on the shelf. Edler, of course, is clearly the minute leader on this team. Uh, he's a physical force back there, the only one they have without Bieksa. Um, so clearly, if he's out for any length of time, the Canucks are going to be in serious, serious trouble. The only conceivable, not positive, but uh, gleam of light that could come out of this would be the necessity, perhaps it's the necessity, of moving Adam Clendenning onto the power play with the first unit. Henrik Sedin on those right boards has been so desperately missing a good right-handed shot uh, from back there ever since Sammy Sallow left. Sallow has never been replaced, and having Edler back there or other players back there just have not been the same. And while the Canucks are not generating many power play opportunities this time or uh, these days, when they get them, they've got to make the most of them. And having Clendenning on the right point uh, with the Sedins down low and Burroughs and Verbata on the same power play looks to me their best alignment. And despite the fact that Edler was once a 50-point defenseman, I'm awfully keen to see how the power play's first unit looks with Clendenning on the point. Hopefully I get my wish. I'm Tony Gallagher.